Welcome back to another video of SpaceX Updates. In this video, we are going to take a look at SpaceX and NASA's plan to save the Hubble Space Telescope and scrub timber continues for Firefly Aerospace. First, let's start with updates from Starbase. Dozens of workers still continue to work on the orbital launch mount. According to Elon, while Booster 7 is inside the Megabay, Booster 8 would be tested on the OLM, but that hasn't happened yet. Booster 8 is still on the SPMT. Speaking of SPMTs, an SPMT is in place at the launch site near Starship S-24. It looks like S-24 is moving somewhere, either near the orbital launch mount in readiness to full-stack wet dress rehearsal or back to the high bay. We will see. Yesterday, NASA announced that the agency had signed an unfunded space agreement with SpaceX to study the possibility of reboosting the Hubble Space Telescope. Right now the Space Telescope is orbiting the Earth at around 547 kilometers in low Earth orbit. The agency planned to end the Hubble project in the late 2020s. But now NASA is considering extending the lifespan of this flying telescope by some 15 to 20 years. How are they going to do this? Well, the new partnership with SpaceX will study the possibility of reboosting the telescope. If SpaceX's Dragon capsule can move Hubble into a higher and more stable orbit at about 600 kilometers, it can continue for another decade or more. According to NASA, there are no plans to conduct or fund a servicing mission or compete this opportunity. The study is designed to help the agency understand the commercial possibilities. SpaceX, in partnership with the Polaris program, will lead the study. The study will take about six months to gather data to make a final call on whether it would be possible to safely rendezvous, dock, and move the telescope into a more stable orbit. Since Space Shuttle retired in 2011, servicing missions to the Hubble also stopped. The last Hubble servicing mission was the SM-4 mission in 2009 in a Space Shuttle Atlantis. If there is another service mission to rescue the dying telescope, it could be Jared and his crew on a SpaceX Dragon spacecraft. But, that is far from the reality. No such mission will be planned until the completion of the whole study. The first Polaris mission of the Polaris program. Polaris Dawn is not launching any earlier than March next year. But man, a manned mission to the Hubble Space Telescope again would be so cool. Scrubtember still doesn't end just yet. We have one more day till September ends and we had one more launch scrubbed. Firefly Aerospace came so close to launching their second test flight mission, Alpha Flight 2, to the Black Mission. The countdown clock went down up to T0 and when the engine ignition started, the flight computer activated an auto abort to ensure the safety of the vehicle. Four, three, two, one. Vehicle abort. Safety the vehicle. The company hasn't specified the exact reason yet. They will try to launch it tomorrow in a two-hour launch window starting from 12.01 a.m. to 2 a.m. PDT. Let's hope it will be a success. September will be officially over by then. As United Launch Alliance is preparing to launch its next generation of rockets, the Vulcan Centaur rocket, the company recently completed a full-duration burn of its BE-4 engine. Tori Bruno the CEO of United Launch Alliance shared a video showing the full-duration burn of the Blue Origin-made BE-4 engine. Three, two. The Vulcan rocket is powered by two BE-4 main engines and other solid rocket boosters in the first stage. The first maiden flight of this rocket is expected to launch before year's end. That is it for now. Hope you enjoyed the short update video. If you did, Please give a like and subscribe to the channel.